Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquee of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Living Streams International, we meet behind the trade fair, behind Zenith College, on Sundays in the morning, and then for our midweek services in the evenings on Wednesday. But this morning, I like to keep my thoughts. Uh, it's, it's very interesting, but I'll call it keeping it simple and stupid. Many years ago, I had a friend who was an Indian, and there was something that he used to say, and I said, keeping it simple and stupid. Now, he used to call it kiss, kiss, kiss. Kiss, 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 kiss. Anytime there's an argument or something, it's like kiss, 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 kiss. Keeping it simple and stupid. Well, I'll begin with this, with this story first. Well, many years ago, you know, freshly married and, uh, you know, but one way or the other, I mean, uh, the euphoria of marriage is going to die down and then reality is going to come in just like it did for Adam. Immediately after the wedding and everything, when trouble came, then he said, oh God, the woman you gave to me. You know, so sometimes reality is going to hit. And there was, there was an issue in which I was very, very angry. I was very angry with my wife and the boy, uh, I was really, really spoiling for a fight, spoiling for an argument. And so I, I, I came to the room and, you know, and I was... Talking, I was expecting a counter talk. I was expecting you get it. She also to say something. So I'll say something to provoke an answer, and uh, so that the thing will continue. You know, typical la boy. You know, from la. You know, I, I wanted. I was spoiling for a fight and uh, spoiling for an argument. And you know, uh, uh, package all my arguments and all those things. And I was really, really blowing hot. And then I, I, I talked and I talked and I talked and uh, and then. I mean, she kept quiet, and then after I'd finished talking, she just said a simple thing and said, and with tears in her eyes, she said, I'm sorry. I am sorry. And then all of a sudden, it looks as if somebody had poured cold water on my steam. You know, somebody had been a wet blanket to me. She didn't give me a fight. She didn't give me an argument. But there's a very simple principle in Proverbs chapter 15, verse 1. A soft answer turns away wrath. Many times an argument can be cut short by somebody taking the pathway to say sorry. Somebody trying to keep it simple and stupid. Somebody deciding that it's not worth it. Somebody saying, sometimes I do it is by right. But for the sake of peace, I'm, I want to make some compromises. Somebody who wants to end an argument and end it the right way. And end it in such a way that love would continue. And that is what she did. I'm sorry. And you know what? And after she said that, I mean, I'm standing in front of the mirror. You get to, yeah, I've won an argument. When all of a sudden, it sunk into me. Who is a stupid person? I looked at them into the mirror, and the face I was seeing was not the face of wisdom, although the face of stupidity. It just dawned on me that I had really, really, really messed up. So the pathway now became one of the longest journey to turn back. My pride will say, ah, well, you've won an argument. I didn't win an argument. I just lost an argument. I did not win. I'm sorry, won. So now I had to go back trekking and say, I'm sorry. Sometimes hateful things or sometimes the things we throw at each other, all these things can be cut short by simply saying, I am sorry. You know, sometimes a soft answer, not sometimes, a soft answer will always turn away wrath. Proverbs 15, 1. And sometimes you're sorry. Or sometimes a soft answer. Not replying in the vein in which you are spoken to. Not, 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 not prolonging the argument. Not, not uh, raising unnecessary 
counter arguments and all those other things. It will save the day. And you recognize that the person who was rather the protagonist will rather now begin to come and say, I'm sorry. That's what I had to do. Somebody decided to keep it simple and stupid and won the day. Didn't only win the day for herself, but won the day for me also. Because it prevented an argument where perhaps words will be thrown at each other that will never be, that can never be taken back. Because sometimes it happens like that. You're aware of that. My grandmother said to me that sometimes there are things in your mouth, when saliva is in your mouth and it's stinking, you can swallow it. But once you throw it down, you can't use your tongue to pick it back from the ground. So sometimes keeping it simple and stupid is the best option. See you later.